got Luffy and Vision, king of the rappers. The hey, mission. what's up, gang? It's Murata Music with Three Piece TCG, Big Beard TCG, and Two D. We got Bully Beatdown Three, featuring Monkey D, Luffy, bars, bars, and bars. Also, also, do my eyes deceive me or? Have we just broke 1,000 subscribers? <coughs> Gotta get better at that. Uh, 1,000 fucking subscribers. Hang on, gang. Now, look, I, I wanted to make some kind of spectacular, blotacular, but, like, I, I, I blew my load in the last 500 subscribers video, to be honest with you. Like, honestly, like, I didn't think it would be here. You, you, you saw, it took me 160 videos to get to 1,000 but like a week ago, I was at 500. So I, you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't expecting it. And then I couldn't think of anything. The first thing that came to mind was like, I had a sound and I said, you know what? It's under three seconds. There's no way I can get copywritten because I don't want to get copywritten again. So I'm going to play it. It's the first one that came to my mind. I'm going to put, I'm playing on my phone. <laughs> we fucking did it gang that's what i'm talking about and if i get copywritten fuck me dude that's gonna suck i'm getting ahead of myself I'm getting ahead of myself we gotta remember you gotta smash that like button uh finger pop that subscribe turn on the bell and go down on those comments let me know what am i doing right what am i doing wrong what would you be doing differently guys obviously the subscriptions are like making a difference and, and I really want you to think about turning on that bell because when the bell turns on, when a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And what I mean by an angel, I mean an angel gets their wings. You don't want to keep that angel from their wings for crying out loud. So think about it. That's all I'm saying. Just think about it. Turn on the bell. Turn on the bell. Anyhow, it's okay, why is this a bully beat down? This deck should be doing great, right? Wrong. It's only gotten 11 out of 114 entries, this should make up for 50 uh, or 45, respectfully. No, if there's 114, it should be 30 of this, 30 RP Luffy, 30 Black Purple Luffy, and then the rest will go to, you know, Shanks, Blackbeard, and everybody else. Uh, but unfortunately, it's only uh, 11, which is wild. Now, it seems to be trending. It seems to be trending. Look, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. So it seems to be trending in the right direction. We're liking where we're headed as the uh, Purple Luffy army, right? Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and just take a look at some of these lists, show you guys what's been going on. Uh, we got a flagship. You guys know that ain't no joke. Uh, my man's running the kid. Okay. Bon Clay. I've been, I've been preaching Bon Clay for fucking ages now. Uh, Lofi Taro into all these things. Onami is a notable, notable note. Uh, now we're going to go over here to, yeah. Okay. What do we got? We got friends and okay. I just hate that card. I hate that card. Look at that card. You have eight or more. Oh, thanks. Thanks. If I got eight or more, I can play five and then what? Spend the rest of the dawn making you an eligible attacker. Get the fuck out of here, dude. All right. Uh, so yeah, pretty straightforward. And then we've got. We've got somebody doing what I'm doing. They're playing Majelli. Uh, Sachi Penguin has just got to only be a searchable thing because I I break my brain looking at, wait, how do you play this card? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah. Um, and now we're going to take it over to your boys list. Let's see what we got for you. <sighs> Where um, I'm running a lot of what I will be deeming, what I will be calling uh, tryout ratios, right? Where I'm running three. I'm running three 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 you know what i mean and what it does is it does give us it's enough to see what you want in my in my opinion in my experience and and almost objectively mathematically it gives you if you have enough pieces that you want to see and you wouldn't mind seeing this over this and you don't mind seeing especially if you don't mind seeing this a little bit later this a little bit later uh etc this would possibly be an argument for a four because you want to see it as soon as you can. But if you don't mind seeing your cards till later or you have a lot of cards that are interchangeable, I feel like three is good. Four is when you want them in your opening hand uh, and throughout the game. One is where you don't care if you see it at all. Two is if you don't mind seeing it at all until the late game. And three is where you get into that middle space, right? So there's so many cards, you know, I, I don't mind seeing Luffy until 
my fucking you know uh, what third or fourth turn because I can't play him out there until until then anyways. Uh, and there's multiple cards that I can't play until then, even with ramping. So this is my build. Uh, still keeping Bond Clay because again. Bond Clay, what they do is they're going to ramp us one active that enables us to swing one, put some, puts a little pressure, right? But what they're doing is that even though we go, we went first, we activated Bond Clay, we don't have to ramp again and take another life. And that's big because that affords us, that's almost like giving us a built-in blocker where otherwise if we didn't have Bond Clay, we would have to ramp twice take two lives and effectively become a three life leader. Uh, the same thing with Zoro Joro. So uh, with the uh, with any's lobby, you know, being banned, getting canceled for being present at the Diddy party, uh, we have a Zoro Joro that can stick now. Uh, the only thing that I can see is like, you know, if somebody wants to, you know, uh, uh, what is it? Three sword style, you know, spin a four to get rid of them. Or if Marco does his ability into uh, a Sea Quake, that can get rid of him. But for the most part, he's sticking around. And he's going to at least give us one Dawn. Uh, we already talked about Magellan. I just want to be able to control their Dawn and keep them from uh, reaching what they want. Even if I knock them just one off, that can kind of like slow them down and kind of throw them off. But you really want to play two. And that's kind of why I'm wondering. Maybe I want to bump him up to four, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Francinoke. That's just for counter, just 2K counter. And a matter of fact, I wonder if I can find a better 2K counter at this point. Let's see. Because uh, we do want them searchable. Not seeing any more straw hat. Uh, oh, this guy's dope. And I could actually use him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll put him in and get him out. Because, oh... Oh, no, 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 no. We get you back out because he searches him as well. Okay, you just you just made the cut. All right, and then we want him in here because we got a lot of minus one. So kids got to stay to play because we got a minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. So we got a lot of minusing and he's going to give us something back each time. Uh, another possible candidate would be pudding, uh, which is your would be for four. However, pudding is going to give you a rested dawn. You can play it out earlier, you know, but then you can't swing. You can't put that pressure. So we like we like kid for right now. We got Sanji. Look at the that man is that man is gelling with Magellan. Look at the bottom of his shoes. That man is gelling. I can't point at it, but you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, um, he's just a 2K, and very rarely he's a searchable 2K, and very rarely will we play him. Uh, this is a four for six vanilla, and we just like it because it does what it needs to do. And he's searchable, and he can play off of Luffy Tar. You know what time it is. Sanji turning people sideways and ramming it up their keister. Uh, seven for seven, one K. We love it. He's searchable by everything. That's that. This is our searcher. I don't need four of them because all he is is a one K counter after the beginning rounds and when I'm not looking for something, so it's not that big a deal. This is going to be our boss monster, okay? This is that 9 for 10, minus 1, draw a card and rush. So he replaces himself, he rushes down, he's a big stick. And by the time we get him out, we get him out early enough, it's very oppressive and very hard to deal with. Uh, Queen is there because they are just an impressive 6K body blocker and uh, minus 1, draw 2 draw two cards, you know, and then trash one. So we're getting to cycle our deck. This is probably one of the better uh, 2Ks in my opinion because one, it's a 2K, searchable, but also on play, if you have eight or more Dawn, you get to turn somebody sideways that's five or less, and then you get to sweep for game. So it actually has utility in the late game. Uh, Sangoro, love it. It's like, you know, the other one was the six for eight, and we, and we love a big vanilla, but we do also love uh, drawing. And by the time we get him out there, you know what I'm saying? If we play him off of him, and that means we had seven, we went down to six, the, and he pl got played, no matter what, the next turn, we're going to be at eight, and he's going to swing and draws a card. Uh, he's another searcher, big body, uh, no counter, but a big body. And uh, he's going to search anything, any straw cat. He'll, he'll even search himself. 
Now we got Luffy Taro, and this has been the another. It's another boss character for sure, man. It's so tough to deal with, and this is one me matches against Blackbeard. I think you guys have seen that before, where it's just like, yo, he's a big ass body. You establish enough big bodies, and they got to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then we got two of the Gum Gum gigantes uh and that is just that minus two trash one card from your hand if your leader has straw hat crew type give up to one of your leader characters plus 4k then draw two cards that's amazing it's amazing so uh <laughs> the way this card will put it put the cards that you need you'll you'll go from you don't want to use it until you have 10 dawn obviously because you want to go down to eight and then come right back to 10 so if you can survive until then and we will uh you're hooping you're hooping you'll pull so many cards in your hand it's it's amazing so we got uh four eight twelve uh 2k counters and it's looking like we got three six nine damn girl fine 12 and 11 no counters and that's not bad that's really not bad that's including characters and um and events so this is a this is a uh uh a counter heavy deck and we're loving every minute of it with all that being said though let's get on to these matches let's take a stroll shall we all right looking for the meta and who do i find sir shanks a lot so let's see what they're gonna give us uh we kind of don't mind going first or second with this deck actually we don't want them to go second because we don't want them to see their curb so we're definitely mulligan for a mudgelin and we get it so now we can search freely and we're gonna go ahead and grab a luffy taro for sure yeah that way we can play this out and have a good old time all right so it's looking good for us because what he doesn't know is he's about to get effed in the a all right so we're searching bro we are officially on the clock we know they got a shanks all right so i'm gonna take one if i get a bond clay i'm hooping confounded all right so um i'm actually thinking about playing out this card and searching for another card and just keeping it moving um let's let's swing at him and see what he does first because he might not use that ability and then we can swing here because he's like oh well he's gonna do it on this guy he does it on that. We don't give a shit. All right, we're going to play that. And we get nothing. I'll go ahead and take this. Yeah, because we already got one gum gum giant. And that was the bond clay we wanted. Okay, cool. So we're big swinging next turn. We're going to go from five to seven. I'm actually going to play this out, throw him off curb. And then we're going to just keep running it up. Okay, so I would like to Luffy Taro into here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take, no, I'm going to go ahead and give him this right now. Yeah. Cause I'm going to play him out next. And the great thing is he's going to want to KO this guy so bad. He's going to want to KO him and he's, it's, it's okay. Do it, do it, do it. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do first is we're going to, do we drop? No, no, no. We always develop first. I don't give a fuck. No. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and swing six here. He's probably going to get KO'd by him, or he's going to, you know, block out for one. We'll see what he wants to do. Because then I'm going to give him seven, and then I'm going to play this out. Boy, look at my hand. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and swing seven. And, and, and I almost wish I would have given him this card as an option to do that but we didn't and it's okay uh okay so now he realized ruh -ro, he's been playing he he recognizes the old meta all right so for this i'm gonna go ahead and give him a 2k no reason to go down any lower we're at eight we are at eight feeling great at eight don't be late luffy tur we're gonna go down one we are gonna play this guy out and now <clears throat> we're gonna swing twice at his face. And even though he's at six, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to come out of at least one counter. And look at this board. Look at this board. Okay. So now we're gonna swing six again. We're definitely gonna be taking damage on this next turn for sure. Cause we got a 2K. 
There we go. There we go. We do have a 2K. We got a 1. We got that. So not for this turn, not the next turn, but the turn after. It won't be until the turn after that he gets to have a, uh, a big play. So at this point, I'm wondering, I can play this out and then play him and then just start swinging big. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I am going to be... Oh, he doesn't swing with that. Okay, cool. All right. Um, huh. Let's go ahead and... Let's start by swinging here first and see if he won't minus him. If he minuses him... If he doesn't minus him... Okay, he did. I was going to say, if he doesn't, that's great too. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to select one down to return. That's it. We draw a card. Now we're going to swing six and eight on Fox 28. Okay. And he's got to give me some mo. Okay. And now we've got some counter. And we've got another big we're going to play. We're at eight. We're going to... The fuck didn't I swing with him? Holy shit. What the fuck? God bless. <sighs> fuck me, dude. What the fuck? That, what was the point of playing him then? What was the point of playing him then? What was the fucking point? Oh my God. What's that? He got six. 9, 10, I can't, I gotta let him go. God bless, it's a fucking dagger, dude. Oh my God. Son of a bitch. Damn it, man. Oh, that fucking hurts so fucking bad. I can't, I can't even, dude. Son of a bitch. All right, so now I gotta, I'm gonna swing here. I'm gonna just go for game at this point. This is fucking ridiculous. Uh, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, so we know he ain't got shit. Damn, dog. Yeah, you're gonna take it, and yeah, you're gonna take it. And this could have been him at zero life. God bless. It's just so hard. Now, if he wants to play Shanks, we'd actually welcome it. But, um, you know, he's kind of probably want to... Oh, he plays that Shanks. Well, that's not bad at all. Oh, we're not having a bad time now. Okay, so I could do that. And then you just take me down to zero? Uh, n No, no, I want to keep him alive. Uh, either way, I got like two swings, I guess. Yeah, um, I'm gonna just let him go then, I guess. Yeah, because then you're just gonna swing at me. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, so now we're gonna swing. Let's go for at least 11, 12, 11, 12. And then, hang on, so if 11, and then 12, and then 8, so we can do 12 and 13. And now we're in this position because we didn't fucking swing with the first one when we had the chance. God bless. You don't got it. There's no way you got it. Because that motherfucker don't run any fucking shit. Holy shit, I forgot he had that, though. The five fingers of stress jutsu is upon me. This is ridiculous, dude. Um, okay, so I block her up. I swing six. And he's got a, he's got a block. Ah, oh, this is so fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. All because of that fucking one swing off. Yeah, that would have been the fucking game, dude. Okay, so I got to block what I can. No blocker, just resolve that. Fucking bullshit. Um, 
I guess I'll take. See what he does. I got two cards with no counter in the whole fucking deck. Get out of here. All right, so I'm going to do this. No blocker. Give me this. One, two. Get rid of him. Give me this. Cool. I got two 2Ks. That's really good. That's going to help. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to no blocker. Bop and a bop. And, but he's got that 10. He's got that shanks that's going to help him out, though. That's what really sucks. Although, did he just fuck himself up? Well, now he's got to swing with Uda. Okay, so we don't like that. Um, he's going to be able to take it out with that Shanks. <clears throat> Either way. So we're going to just let it go. See what happens. Okay, a blocker. And another blocker, I'm assuming. Yeah, two blockers. So we know one of these is zero. We know one of these is no counter. Yeah, one of those is no counter. So it's shit or get off the pot time, gang. Okay, so uh, we can do seven there. Two, three, four, five is another seven. And then I can do nine. So let's do... But we can. he can do that. We got to get three hits off on him. So let's do uh, six, seven, eight, then seven, eight, and then oh, we'll do we'll do six. Okay, let's just give him let's give him one because we can't take the crack back anyways. Let's see what happens here. We gotta we're trying to get him to engage in a blocker. We know one of these is a is a ten call shanks. can't believe I didn't fucking swing. That's so fucking stupid, dog. So fucking stupid. This whole game, I don't even know why I'm finishing this game. So he minus one. You gotta have the counter, you just fucked yourself. Oh my god. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Well, no, that's six. That would make it eight. And the, yeah, we just got to swing eight twice because that could give us um, eight twice. He can go down to seven. And so he's got to get rid of, he's got to be able to block or yeah. And I still fucking won. <laughs> Yo, I was not going to include this game because of my buffoonery. God bless. Holy shit. Oh my God. That should have been so much easier. Damn. <sighs> oh, but this is a happy 1000 subscriber episode for us, gang. All right, let's try to learn something here. Uh,. What is there to fucking learn? It's fucking, fucking, if you, if you minus one to draw one and gain rush, fucking use rush. Use it. Use it. I could have finished this guy off a long time ago. God bless. But you got to see Magellan throwing him off curb and really fucking that day up. Okay? Let's go to the next one. Let's wake the fuck up. All right, gang. It's time for the most hated man in existence. Marshall T. Teach. All right, uh, let's see what's going on. Um, okay, so we got to remember with this guy, he chose to go second. That sucks. Uh, I'm actually going to keep because I want to be able to ramp with this. I can I can ramp with him. I can't ramp with them should they um, black hole me, which just doesn't sound right after the Diddy parties. Uh, okay, so reveal and draw black hole. Yes. Okay. So that's a good thing that we did what we did. So we're going to swing. Okay. We get a card out of him. That's great. And now we're going to keep him moving. Uh, I think that he can get rid of this card. Yes. And we will get F in the A. That is no Bwayne. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take because I'm just trying to draw some cards here. See what's up. Okay. So the cool thing.
All right, gang. I uh, did a little blunder there. So I'm going to go second. We're going to keep for sure. And uh, yeah, I hit a little misclick and I'm like, yo, after that fucking Shanks game, I'm just not playing bullshit like that. That's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, okay. So uh, we have nothing to play here. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, we're looking to play Zoro Joro because... <sighs> Um, we're looking to play Zoro Joro because he's not an on play. So if we do get black cold, we can possibly ramp with him still. Now, keep in mind that, um, he can pop him before we get to use him, especially if we're going second, we're only going second because I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're only going second because we wanted to make sure that he, um, damn, he black told us didn't get his, uh, big beard on time or black beard on time, whatever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take one, and uh, damn, we can't Magellan him no more. What the F, yo? Uh, I am going to still play him out, and I'm going to swing seven. And that's going to cause him to take a life, yeah, for sure. So we're also trying to beat him up real good, because uh, we don't want him to be able to play... Um, I keep wanting to say the Big Beard, because I'm part of Big Beard TCG. We don't want him to play Blackbeard. We don't want to be able to play Big Teach. Ayo, hey, Teach. We don't want him. We don't want him. All right, so five. He's got four left. He can. There's an event uh, that he can play. I forget what it's called. Yo, what? He's running eight Tempest kicks? That's crazy. All right, so um, he can uh, pop this with an event card. Oh, he might still be able to do it. What's this? Minus two yeah okay but that's cool because he's like spending resources to get rid of him and and, and that's cool we're, no no we're fine we're fine with that no it's cool it's cool this fucking dick rider dog i swear can't stand that motherfucker bro such a fucking dick rider and swinging into a, a zero is just insulting having to swing into a zero because this motherfucker it's not enough to do that he can also just you know just whatever he's feeling like that day he can do it all right so we're gonna swing into here uh if we go to eight then we're at 10 and then we can start comfortably doing his stuff um but there's no point to go in there let's see uh, sorry, I had a little thing, a little emergency. Okay, so we are going to uh, play him out because he has no counter value and no on playability. And um, that's going to be that. So next turn, we'll be at nine. And we can't we can't use abilities anyway, so we're not worried about that. Yeah, we can't use it on play abilities. We're just trying to get big characters out. Okay, using that stage. Trash in the stage, top three. That guy is fucking nuts. The way it's been this long, this far into the uh, the series of OP09, and I still haven't played Blackbeard. That's funny. I'm tired of his face. All right, so we're taking that. Ooh. Okay, we got blockers. We're black hold. He's got no cards. Um. <clears throat> Mies thinks this would be the play um, just because, but I'm going to go ahead and play him out. I want that big old body, the big body yachty. We want that because uh, now he's going to have to use blocker. He's going to have to do some things. And then if he plays out uh, Blackbeard, one of these won't be able to attack, but the other one will. And... He's just going to have to take it, dog. There ain't going to be nothing he can do. This is my age, and them's was your teeth. What happened? Okay, so he did. Oh, he, he trashed one. He trashed one, which means we know he's got one in hand. Okay, uh, so now we're in this place where we're going to get fucking just beat off if we're not careful. So we got six or got seven nine eleven twelve if he if we let him set up a teach then we're fucked hmm because then he could swing 10 and but is that now nah, let's go ahead and 
Let's take it. Let's take it. I'll take it. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Okay, so two blockers. Teach is coming out next round. He got rid of another Teach, so he's got one for sure. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to play this out again. Okay, so now we're going to swing six, six, and ten. Okay, we're going to swing another six. We know that's a Teach, so he's got to block or take a life. Okay, he's got to block or take a life. Blocks, okay. So he's effectively got three life right now because we're not going to have any way to pop that. Okay, so for that, we're going to go ahead and give him uh, this vanilla. Okay. Here comes the teach. <clears throat> now, what's really important for us here is that we have this blocker, which is why I was okay continuing to develop board and, and, and instead of like develop swingers instead of that. Because now... We're going to be able to swing big. Okay, so we're going to play this. And uh, let's go ahead and swing. Hmm. We can even develop this and then really go at it. And this has no purpose in our hand right now. He's only got one card. So let's go ahead and develop this as well. Look at me tinking. Oh, we could also go for game. Can we? Oh, no, no, no. He's got a blocker. He's got a big blocker. What am I saying? Okay, so we're going to develop this. We're going to swing six. If that's a 2K, that's really going to suck for us. Okay. Trigger, trigger, trigger. You ain't got no trigger. Get out of here. Nothing that'll deal with this, that's for sure. So he either beats us off this next game or this next turn, or we beat him off. It's a good old-fashioned beat-off. All right, now he's not going to want to use D teach on this, so he's either going to counter out or he's going to give me a blocker. Holy Shinto, he takes a life. Okay, so now we know that he is going to block for free there, so we'll just leave that alone. He's going to want to swing with this card as well. That's what's going to happen. Okay, so we're getting let off free right here. No blocker. We're just going to do that. If he spins Dawn to KO this, then we're in good shape. Uh, I think we just won the game, actually. Yeah, we just won that fucking game, dog. We just won that fucking game. Let's fucking go. That's what I'm fucking talking about. You guys see what I'm talking about? Great player, too. Look at the time. We, we both took just as much time. Um, so what we continued to do was we, because purple Luffy can still ramp, purple Luffy can still ramp. It's black purple Luffy that's got issues. It's uh red purple Luffy it can ramp to a certain degree, but purple Luffy can ramp regardless of uh the people's, regardless of our characters on playabilities. We don't need that. Okay, so. We were able to do that. And the only way this would be nullified is when he plays this guy out. So, yeah, that, that sucks against Nami because you're about to close out the game. You play a big and now their, their leader ability is null and void. But that doesn't have any effect on us throughout the game. So, yo, this is like great. This is gr great. Like they say in Tekken. Uh, love to see it. And um, I probably could have uh, attacked with him. And then uh, if he would have swung with him and wanted to develop another one, I could just block out and then that would be a waste. And then, you know what I'm saying? I could have baited that out. But I decided, yo, you're going to swing here. You, if you sw you got you got 12 and then you're going to have to break this down to like five and five. So 12, seven and or seven, 10 and five or 12. And I can block one. I can uh, block the other and then take one. And then I'm going to give you everything I got. So. <clears throat> yeah, we had that fucking, we had him dead to rights there. That was a fucking great game. All right, gang, as you know, all great things come in threes, and so does my videos. Um, Let's see. They're going to be, we're going to go second, because we know they got some big mom shit. Oh, we love to see it. We're going to keep, we're going to keep. 
So with this, I'm wondering if I want to just Magellan immediately and then play this out and keep it going. I think maybe so. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this and see what we can get for that search. Um, by the time we get around to after these plays, we're going to be at Big Luffy time. So we're going to we're going to go Big Luffy. And actually, I'll do that because I can search. Okay, cool. So we know we're probably not going to get another uh, Magellan play for the game. We're just going to throw them off once. And that's going to suck because we're already going second. So like we see 10 before them and then we back them up even one more. So that's going to it's going to throw a little wrench in their game. Now, uh, they will be at three so they can swing for a banish if they would like. Holy shit. Yeah, dog. You got it. You got it. 10k banish first turn second turn you got it that's your card to the trash i don't know what's going on why are we still on blockers though there's not a blocker on the field there's a 10k robin who wishes to swing 10 with banish what the fuck was that you may trash one card trigger add up to one dawn this i forgot this bitch can ramp it's a bad day for us. Why did I click on this? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and we're gonna go ahead and uh, they're at four. Um, now I'm thinking I wanna go ahead and ramp daddy ramp all the way up faster than them and then play this. But do we need to? No, we don't need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this out. Boo, 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 boo. Power down. You're going to three. You thought. You thought. Now I'm going to swing here. Probably going to take, huh? Or do you got counter like that? Because you ain't got no hand already. I wonder. And I wonder. Man, I've had that song in my fucking head. Mean Girls, dog. Such a classic. All right, so they give that up. That's cool. So I don't mind that I played him and went down back to four because I'm going to go from six to seven and then seven to nine. And then I'll be playing this or this plus swinging. So we're good either way. And I could also even take a life and then, you know, power up, you know, I mean, do this and this, it, you know, there's there. We got different avenues, but we're definitely going to have to race this broad to the finish. Let's see. Let's see. Frankly, he's playing Frankie. Okay, and we're searching. So he, they, she are in a different place right now. Uh, I wonder if they would have rather not ramped. But yeah. Hey, y'all guys noticed my taskbars finally went away? Like, what the fuck that's about? Okay, so uh, they guys still got banished at the end of the day. So we're going to go ahead and give them this. No, we don't want to give them this one. We're going to give them a, a bond clay because we're not going to ramp that damn many times. So nothing else can attack. It's my turn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this out. And then I'm at seven. Is there a point to doing anything else? Because I can bring him out for free. So yeah, I'm not going to take another life. And we're going to swing seven twice at his face. Let's go. Seven to the face. All right. And then we will seven more to the face. And I'm really wondering if I uh, go into uh, nine drop Big Luffy next turn. Because... <coughs> I mean, Luffy Taro plus this, I go wide, I get extra swings, and maybe that's what it's about right now. Uh, Big Loof, I mean, he's down to two life. Nothing will convince you to, to, to concede or, or, or throw, like, you know, having a big body when you got no life. So we'll see, we'll see, because either way, 
Uh, this would leave me one active dawn. This won't. I don't know. I'm in a I'm in a weird space. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one up because we know we're not playing that card out. Oh shit! I should have took that one because this big swing is gonna give leave me with fucking. Oh okay, nothing bad. I don't want to get rid of both blockers though, do I, chat? Do I? Um. Perhaps I abandon this and then I just go for big swings. Genose. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to give up a blocker. And I'm going to play this out next turn. I'm going to swing big. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't like I had to take that. Okay. Um, so let's go wide. Yes. And uh, let's get a wide back here. Okay. So we're going to swing here. You're at 8. You're going to be at 10. I wish I was at 10. That would be lut. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to swing 6 and see what happens. Cool. So now I'm going to play Luffy Taro out. One Dawn return. I'm playing him out. There we go. I am going to swing. I'm going to swing six into Frankie. Watch this. I'm going to swing six into Frankie. And he's going to have to give me a 2K. Or, or you know, it's one to two cards. Or let him go. Perfect. Now I'm going to swing six into his face. And then he's probably going to take it. If he couldn't block out for Frankie. There we go. Okay, so now he's got to beat me on this turn or I win the game because I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five swings if he doesn't get rid of this. So, yeah, if he doesn't get rid of this, it's a wrap. Not to mention I'm going to swing here. So, like, I feel like the game is done. He could have an ace. An ace to the face would make me one, and he'd go up two, and then it would come down to triggers. He could have big Luffy. And I could be like, ah, uh, we will see. So now he can swing five, five and 10. I don't think that's the answer though. Yeah. I think this game is jet set radio. Also, uh, I'm very happy to play somebody other than like, you know, Blackbeard Shanks and Doflamingo. But while we're on the topic, why is Doflamingo so hard to find? Like, I I will click on Doflamingo and nothing will happen. And then I'll click on Doflamingo and, and, I, and I just have to start the game over. It pisses me off. Uh, I'm definitely going to take this. And then I guess he can swing five and five. But, like, I got counter. So it's not a big deal. Oh, he swings six. Uh, yeah, I'll give you this one. And you left this up, so I'm going to swing 10. I mean, the game was over either way. The game was over either way. Yeah. Yeah, no, once once we establish this board, they could take a look at their hand and tell that's going to be the game. So for shits and gigs, I'm going to swing here with 10. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to just all active on Luffy Taro and attack. And 18 should do it. 18 should do it. Well, there you have it, gang. Uh, pretty straightforward match. It can get out of hand. I know I got a lot of friends, a uh, lot of big beard brothers that are looking to uh, fuck with uh, Nico Robin. I feel like she is dangerous as f cuss. And she also has like, she also has her limitations though. You know what I'm saying? So with all that being said, let's go take it over to the breakdown. Oh, hey there, you came. Ew, everywhere. That's right. We sure effing did, gang. Uh, I really, really, really enjoyed this deck list. Um, and I really, really feel that Magellan is really, really valuable still. Uh, the fact that we are ramping no matter what, it's still a 6K body. Uh, we're, we're taking people down. I mean, look, Robin ramps too. Okay. And you got to see how Magellan was able to offset that. If nothing else, just offset it, just even it back out. You got to see how against Shanks, even though I blow my load, um, 
throwing them off curb was magnifique. Um, you got to see in Blackbeard, where even if I don't get to play it out, guess what? I get to keep this card. I get to play this card out. And I think I kept this card in hand or no, I kept that card in hand because it was I play this five or this five. It was something. And I just remember I'm going to play him out because he has no value in my hand whatsoever. So I'm going to play him out and I will have a 6K body that they've got to work around. You know what I mean? So five for six on Fox 26, uh, which in Houston, Texas was back when uh, what, what the Simpsons used to play on. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, that, that is always going to have some value, always going to have some value. And the fact that anybody else is going to get a minus one is huge. Uh, this card is going to be huge into, uh, como se dice, uh, Lucci, uh, anybody who's really uh, addicted to their curb, you know what I mean? Anybody who's really wanting to play perfect, uh, for that reason, <sighs> I hate to get rid of a counter, but damn, how many times did we play this card? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking of getting rid of something here. Um, and I do like the amount of times we saw these cards. And I do like that uh, whether I needed them or not, I still have my ability. And with the amount of counter that's present in this deck, it is tough to take away a counter for a no counter but man getting to see this card played out is it's really good it's really good so i'm liking this list uh i guess i'm i'm harping on this one a lot because i feel like people are just like kind of forgetting about it uh outside of that luffy taro another huge card huge threat you guys got to see how that's playing this out or or something else out and everything's going great man i was sleeping on this card when it first came out I was like, I don't know, man. This card seems a little as, as narrow as his abs, but um, it, it's it's a great card to ramp up and play. You get to replace itself, and you're swinging ten, guys. This 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 deck is going hard. Uh, I actually didn't use one of these like ever. So, and on my OPO eight list, I don't think I even run any uh, events because I mean, you got that many cards, and you're ramping, and you're putting out that many threats. It's almost like they've got to deal with your board before they deal with your face. And if they can't, if they try to deal with your face because they think you can, and you've got fucking four, eight, fucking 12, you know what I mean? Right? 12? Yeah. You got four, eight, 12 fucking K and counter and, and, and everybody else, you know, they're going to, they're going to have a bad day, you know? So anyhow, that is the gist of the list, if you will. Again, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. Um, I, I honestly don't know what to say. I've just been doing what's what's the most fun to me. Uh, I really did like uh, recording our like tournament videos. Uh, I feel like objectively, like we got the best tournament videos, like IRL tournament videos, because we're mic'd up, we're we're chit chatting, we're having fun. You know what I mean? Talking shit. You know, the late latest topic was Diddy Party every fucking five. <laughs> we had somebody named the. I had to play against somebody this past Sunday, going as the Diddler. All right, like yo, uh, I barely made it out intact. But anyhow, um, yeah, you know, we we have a lot of fun. But I don't know, man. Uh, I want to give you guys the content that y'all want. So I'm I'm just going off of like. What is, uh, como se dice, what is performing? You know what I mean? So for that reason, when you guys are going down on the comments, talk to me. Let me know what you like. Anyhow, this has been Murado Music with Three Piece TCG. Big Beard TCG. Bully Beatdown number three. My man is valid. How is he less than 10% of the total makeup of, of no, no, this, this guy beats everybody. 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 I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Flows like a faucet, sweat dripping like a faucet. Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition. King of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.